I remember when I was a teenager, dinadala ako ng dad ko sa mga sites. And he would always tell me, always be looking out for water. The areas that deal with water will be the biggest headache when it comes to maintaining your home in the future. Whether it's roof leaks, whether it's bathroom leaks, waterproofing, etc. But today, we are going to focus on the bathroom itself. Paano ma minimize natin yung mga white marks na lumalabas sa grout? Or yung sealant namin, may mga itim-itim na parang molds. Ah, paano yung tanggalin? Or yung flush namin, nasa stuck up. Or even, nagli-leak yung mga pipes namin sa second floor going down to the ground floor. How do you make sure that this doesn't happen to you? And that's our video for today. Yo. All right. Tip number one is an easy one, and that is to make sure our water goes towards the drain. And that is just making sure that the tiles are sloping towards that direction. And to check that is a very, very simple test. All you need to do is have a ball, whatever ball that is. I recommend something fairly dense like this wooden ball, a golf ball, or a marble. And you put it on usually the longest side, the ones farthest away from the drain. You let it go and check if it actually goes to where we want it. Wait, where is it? <laughs> Ayun. <laughs> Ayan. So by doing that, we make sure that all water goes to where you want it to be. That also minimizes the chance of standing water, so mga molds or puddles in the shower area. Okay, tip number two. Nandito tayo sa pool area natin ngayon because I wanted to demonstrate something that has worked very, very well for us and this can be effective for your home as well. I posted a previous video all about this wherein we were having a problem with white staining all over the grout. But we've managed to greatly minimize that. And yung simple solution namin dito was just to use waterproof grout. This can be used in your bathroom, in your pool, and in the outdoor area. And by using that, it adds a layer of protection to the grout. Mas may abrasive resistance siya, mas may mold resistance, mas may stain resistance. All you have to do is buy ordinary grout and put a waterproofing mixture. Parang bote siya na, mukhang gatas, and you mix it together instead of using water for the grout. Yun na yung gagamitin natin. And apply the grout as usual. It's a fairly inexpensive solution, but I can attest mismo na it's super effective when it comes to minimizing the headache of maintaining your home. So, merong grout, merong waterproof grout, but if you want to take it up a notch, meron tayong tinatawag na epoxy grout. There's one from a brand called Laticrete, Spectral Lock NS Epoxy. It comes with different colors, and the whole purpose of that is to actually seal this grout portion like an epoxy, so wala na talagang lalabas na mga ganitong puti. It also helps with merong ganito. Over time, natatanggal yung grout, and you'll have to reapply it, but if you want, the best of the best, hindi ka na magre reapply that would be the epoxy grout. But because it's also very, very watertight, alam mo yung mga amoy sa mga bathrooms natin, because it's so watertight, tumutulong siya na there's no place for all these foul odors to seep into. So usually it's a premium solution, but if you can afford it, I highly recommend that. Okay, balik tayo sa bathroom namin. The Skypod is about mga five years old na ngayon. And um, it's starting to show its age a little bit. And one of those issues is with the sealants. This area is okay lang, but sa lower portion where it gets moist all the time, especially underneath the sealant, nagsistart na siyang mag-black. And I feel like the type of sealant here was okay, but it's not the perfectly ideal one, normal sealant. But there's a specific type of sealant that's made for wet areas and it's called a biocide sealant and that's to help prevent molds and yung mga discoloring. So that's what I'm planning to replace it with in the future. And I think if you're still building your home or you're having a problem like ours, that's a good thing to consider. 
Here in the SkyPod, we're using two specific types of showers. One is a concealed type. Ito yung ginagamit namin sa master bedroom. We're in the shower head. And then all the pipes here are hidden. And yung mga hardware of all the knobs are usually embedded also into the wall itself. And all the pipings, naka-embed yan lahat. Meron yung mga pros and cons. Sa room ni Scotty and Sevi, we use what's called an exposed type of shower wherein everything is outside the wall, all the knobs, all the hoses, and everything else. So, pros and cons. The concealed shower, for me, tends to look a lot sleeker, a lot nicer, but it also comes with a cost. You're paying a premium for all of that. Also, what's very, very important when you're dealing with this type of shower is you have a trusted supplier. Kasi, pag nasisira to, the supplier has to have the specific part and has to be willing to service that for you because you cannot just take it out and replace the entire system. Sa exposed naman, maganda yun if you just want a headache-free type of system. It's cheaper, it's much easier to install, and pag nasisira siya, if walang parts yung supplier natin, kaya natin palitan lahat ng a different set. Easily na hindi na natin kailangang sirain pa yung mga tiles just to replace the shower itself. So, that is something that's very, very important to consider. Speaking of showers and bathrooms, ang ginagamit namin dito mainly is a brand called Goller. And coincidentally enough, sila yung sponsor natin for today. They just recently released an exciting new collection. It's called the Color Statement Collection. It's kind of like you're wrapped in an immersive environment. So instead of just going into your shower and getting yourself clean, this is a whole immersive experience of just rinsing, massaging, and parang spa-like experience. So pagpasok mo ng shower mo, it's truly an experience in and of itself. And Hopefully, one day, baka lang, color. <laughs> Matry namin yun. Ang ganda kasi ng technology na ginagamit nila. So, they have this full coverage with catalyst technology. And the idea here is yung flow of water and yung droplets na lumalabas sa shower. nag enhance ng full coverage. You're really, really soaked. They even have what's called a cloud experience. So, super fine yung mga droplets and you're just covered in, I feel like, parang mist that just gently wraps your body. But for me, I think ang gusto ko dito is the full coverage rain. So, it's a soft water flow that mimics the experience of real rainfall. And that's not all. Meron pa silang sweep, meron pa silang massage, and all these different kinds of experiences. So, if you're interested in checking out the Color Statement Collection, I'll put a link down below. So, I have three more tips to go, but these last three, I feel, are the most important because this is what truly truly saves you a lot of headache. So, imagine if this was your bathroom and imagine lang natin na nasa second floor to. We've finished all our waterproofing. Standard yun. Dapat may waterproofing yung mga wet areas natin. Pero, after all of that, how do we know that the waterproofing that was done is effective? So, this is where our first test comes in. And it's what is called a flood test. Basically, for all the wet areas in your room na may possibility na magli-leak down below, gagawa natin ng flood test. That is filling up the whole area with water about this high and letting it sit there for about 48 to 72 hours. And i-check natin yan sa baba. So we're gonna go down in our imaginary ground floor and titingnan natin kung may mga leaks ba tayong makikita. If kompleto na lahat and walang leaks, we can now proceed on the next step, which is to finish the entire bathroom. So the flood test is important not only for wet areas like your bathroom and shower areas. Importante din to for anything that's suspended that is bound to have leaks in the future. But what's important to note is that for this test and all the other two tests that I'm gonna talk to you about is that hindi naman mismo kayo ang gagawa. What's important is you know that these tests exist so that you can talk to the appropriate suppliers and ask them to do the test for you and make sure that they're doing the specific types of tests para may peace of mind lang tayo. And syempre, dapat may warranty pa rin even after all these tests kasi hindi naman talaga natin mapaperfect. 
Now embedded in the walls of our bathroom is a lot of plumbing lines. So, paano natin alam na hindi yan magli-leak in the future? Those leaks can cause, well, loss of water, damages to the finishes of our house, and a lot more. And ang hirap niyan pag nakasarado na lahat and you have to trace those leaks. So this is why once all the pipes are installed, but before we cover those pipes, gagawa tayo ng pressure test or a leak test. Basically, what they do is they fill all the pipes with water and pressurize the entire system. And yung pressure na yun naka-constant yun. Once nag-drop yung pressure na yun, makikita natin na may leak yung system and we have to go find where that leak is coming from. That's why hindi pwedeng takpan muna. Kailangan makikita natin kung nasan yun. And if the pressure remains stable, that means okay na tayo and now is the time to seal off everything. So it's important to do a leak test just before covering everything up. And for this, you talk to your plumbing contractor to do a leak test for you. Okay, so from the water supply going into our house, paano naman yung mga water na going out of the house, especially pag nag-flush tayo. So, with the sanitary area, meron kasi yung malaking pipe that goes to the septic tank outside. Sometimes those pipes aren't sloped properly or sometimes merong mga debris na pumapasok just before na sisilion. So, on-site, sa construction, ang dami mga dumidumi. Paminsan, napapasukan ng mga kahoy, sand, etc. And those are some of the reasons why nakaklog tong water closet natin. So, to counter that and to check that everything is in order before we install this, what we do is called a flow test to make sure everything flows properly towards the septic tank outside. So, ang ginagawa dyan is a ping pong ball in a bucket of water and sabay-sabay yun, ipour natin towards our sanitary lines and what we're looking for is that pag exit niyan sa labas more or less sabay yung ping pong ball with the water if the water comes out first and the ping pong ball somehow gets stuck or goes out a little bit later that goes to show na most likely may blockage tayo from debris or yung slope ng pipes natin kulang and we have to reevaluate and you do this for all the sanitary lines in your home. Again, this is not your job. You ask your plumbing contractor to do it for you. All you need to do is ask a record from them that they actually have done it. Okay, so set ko lang yung expectation, guys. Uh, we can do all these tests. We can do the waterproofing grout, etc., etc. Pero, due to all the other factors in the house, from the people that are working there, to the weather conditions and all these other aspects. I just wanted to set an expectation that wala talagang perfect. What's important is you have people that's building your house that truly care about the long-term relationship they have with you. So for example, if may mga problema sa bathrooms, they will be there to fix it for you. Yung kotse nga na ginagawa natin sa factory, di ba? Nagkakamali pa nga sila, factory conditions, and it's all repetitive pa yung ginagawa nila. How much more a one-off house in site conditions, hindi natin alam all the other aspects that's been going through. So we can be as meticulous as we want to be, but we have to be ready for mga real-world scenarios lang. Set ko lang expectations. But knowing all these things that we talked about help us have a little bit of peace of mind and parang angat lang tayo ng konti when it comes to the quality of our home. So I hope this video has been helpful and I'll see you later.